right guys this is gonna be how i get free stuff part three i have been blessed once again did not expect to have another video like this and i might even have a fourth video because i have won two back-to-back -back giveaways that were really really amazing i have won a lot of giveaways but they've always been like smaller things you know five dollar gift card ten dollar gift card a mug like don't get me wrong that is amazing i am happy to win anything but the last two I have won have been amazing. And I got another influencer box. So let's do the influencer box first. They call these Vox boxes. If you guys have never heard of influencer, I'll tell you a little bit about it. You can also watch my previous videos. Like I said, it's how I get free stuff part one, how I get free stuff part two, birthday edition. And this is going to be part three. Um, you do not have to have a channel for these. You do have to have some social media for some campaigns, not all campaigns. Um, I do not have a big following. You guys know I only have like 230 subscribers. Uh, there's people that get this that do not have YouTube. Basically, they want you to try these products out and give your honest, true opinion. You have to go on afterwards and you have to leave reviews and you have to rate them. Sometimes you never have to post a YouTube video because they know most people don't have channels. Sometimes you do have to post a Facebook post or an Instagram post. Not all the time, though. There are some that require no social media whatsoever. All you have to do is leave a review on the product. Um... So they call these Vox boxes. Don't ask me why. But this one has multiple products. Sometimes you get one that just has one product. You guys can see if you watch those videos, sometimes you get some that have multiple products. One was like, like one I got was hair care. So it was three products, but it was all the same brand. This one is three completely random products. Um, I believe this campaign has something to do with being back on campus. Let me see. Yeah, Campus Essentials Vox Box. So they considered this three things that you should have if you're going back to like a college campus. So one of the items I have is Advil Sinus Congestion and Pain. And it says it combines the speed and strength of Advil and a proven nasal decongestion for fast, effective relief of sinus pressure and congestion associated with colds. We are getting into that season again. So I have 10 coated tablets here. So it is going to be good for headaches, fever, body aches, nasal swelling, sinus pressure, and nasal congestion. They give you quite a few months. Usually, I think you get about two months um, to leave a review. So like, you know, obviously if I don't have a headache, I'm not going to take this pill, but I'm sure in the next two months I will have either a headache or a stuffy nose or something along those lines. And then the next product is by Flips. I absolutely love Flips. Um, this is their Bite Bar. It says it's a new twist on snacking. These clusters of crunchy pretzels and gooey caramel coated in milk chocolate make every study break so much sweeter see how they tied it back to being like on a college campus i like that they put it in a separate bag since it's a food item in case it melted or god forbid in case the third product started leaking you know so i don't know if this is a brand new product you guys will have to tell me if you've seen this in grocery stores or not so this might be like not even on the market yet they want to see what people think about it or maybe it is a just it's definitely a newer product product i have never seen these in my markets now, is it new enough that no one's seen it yet? That I don't know. So let's, oh, they even included an ice pack. That is really cool because they know chocolate can melt. Leak proof, colder than ice and non-toxic reusable. This is interesting because it's not ice cold anymore, but it still has a chill to it. And I already got this a few days ago. And I've just been waiting to film this. So it comes like this. It even has the brand name on it with the ice pack in it. But this is it right here. Flip Bites. And you get three pieces. And I also got a coupon. Sometimes you get coupons. So if you like the product, you can buy it again. It's good till the end of the year, 12-31-2021. And it's save 75 cents on any Flip product. So I can either get another Flip Bite or I can go with their traditional Flip pretzels that they carry. And then the third product in my Vox box is a completely bare, easy off foaming hair removal spray. Keep your arms and legs smooth. Just got easier. Just spray, wipe, and wash, wash with easy off. So, yeah, it has volcanic ash. It has shea butter. It's paraben free, cruelty free, phthalate free. It's almost six ounces. Really curious to try this out. I have never been someone who's used Nair or anything like that. I kind of just shave. Let's see if this is as easy as it sounds. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll buy it. 
and I like that it's foaming. I don't know why that interests me so much because regular nails just like a lotion you put on your leg, but this one like activates and it gets foamy. That sounds, I don't know, just kind of cool. And let me see, not only does it remove unwanted hair, our easy to use formula also contains volcanic ash and shea butter to keep sensitive skin protected, moisturized and looking polished. So yeah, it says the aloe vera moisturize helps heal dull, dry, and damaged skin. The shea butter naturally moisturizes skin, has powerful plant extracts, helps slow down the hair regrowth. Oh, that's kind of cool. So not only does it remove hair, but it helps slow down hair regrowth. Cruelty-free, vegan, paraben, and free all like I said. I'm just curious what it says. It just says hold can four to six inches from area to be treated. Apply thin layer of foam. Allow foam to remain on the area for four to six minutes or up to 10, depending on hair thickness. Rinse well in warm, cold water with sponge or wet towel. I will have to definitely try this out. I mean, I'm going to have to to leave a review, but they truly want honest reviews. I've written before when it was a product that I didn't end up being a big fan of or something that I feel like the sample size wasn't enough because I've gotten things like this where it was literally only one pill and I didn't really notice a difference. Um, sometimes you get really cool stuff. This one might not have been as exciting as past boxes. I've gotten skincare. I've gotten hair care. I've gotten amazing name brands. Um, sometimes it's literally just medicine. How they pick you is literally, so at first what you have to do is you have to download Influencer and you literally just review products that you buy on your own. Pet, it can be literally be cat food, dog food, toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, food, makeup, skincare, perfume, literally anything you purchase and use. You give your honest opinion on it. And from there, you get chosen. I will say, I have a friend who downloaded this app. She says she's never been picked. But I tell her, you have to be consistent. I had influencer for years before I got picked for a Vox box. I never got picked because I was not consistent with it. During quarantine, I got really effing bored. Like I'm sure a lot of you did. You know, there's only so much TV you can watch. There's only so many books you can read. And I was glued on my phone a lot. And I would sometimes be like, I'm just going to go review something. And I was just doing tons and tons of reviews. Finally got picked for my first one. And I have gotten so many since. This literally might be like my 10th box with them. I literally get one like every other month. Like... I do get a lot of them. I am very blessed with these. And then I also very blessed with giveaways. I won two separate giveaways. One was a two products together. It was a $200, $250 gift card to a jewelry website. Um, they just gave me like a code to use to take $250 off. I've already did that. When it comes in the mail, I will show it to you guys. And along with that, they did a, um, what do you call that, partnership with a candle company called homesick and the reason it's called homesick is because the candle company started as different states so they would have like a vermont candle a massachusetts candle you know what i mean like things like that sometimes it was famous cities so it would be like san francisco boston and it would have scents that reminds people of that state or that city so like vermont had like um maple syrup um, and stuff like that. So that's why the company started as Homesick. But they have branched out since. And they do many different scents now. So with that jewelry gift card. Because these two companies joined to do the giveaway. I won six candles. Um, and the girl actually let me pick the candles. I didn't think that was going to happen. I had to. All I, you know they announced that I won. They said please just email this email. So you can get your Homesick candles. And Here's the code for you to go on the website and spend as much as you want on jewelry and you got up to 250 off. So when I emailed her, she was like, oh, I'm willing to give you, I'm willing to let you pick out your six candles. So I was like, really? All right. So I went through the website. I knew I was going to get the Massachusetts candle because I'm from Massachusetts. I'm really curious to see what they think Massachusetts smells like. Because I think of Massachusetts, I think of New England. I think of seafood. I really hope my candle don't smell like that. Um, I got... The four new candles in their fall collection, which is Apple Orchard, Pumpkin Picking, Adam, Autumn Hayride, and Oktoberfest. And then I had one left, and I went through, and they had one called Love Letters. I don't know if that was around Valentine's Day, but the notes on it sounded really, really good. So that is what I ended up getting. So I'm going to show you the six candles now. This is how it comes. So I'm going to guess... There's more than one box in here. So maybe they did the full collection in one box and the other two in another box. 
So I have one homesick box here. And, or maybe they just did three and three. And another homesick box here. So let's open these up and check these candles out. And the cups on them are really cool. Um, so it definitely is a, a cup I will reuse. I will get rid of the wax, melt it down, pour it out. You know, like I've done before on past candles. Ooh. For the moments that matter most. All right, so let me... I really like how they package these up. I have seen people, I've seen one video. It was like, I bought what Instagram, I bought something from an Instagram ad for a week. And she bought one homesick candle. So you can see these are packaged up very well. So I have three of them here. So let's open these up and check these three candles out. These are really well packaged, which I'm happy about. So I have Oktoberfest right here. These are really packaged so well that I can't even get them out. <laughs> they are, I really like the extra effort though, to be honest with you, for the moments that matter most. Like that's a nice touch. All right, so I think this is October Pest. It's how it looks from the packaging. So you could see if you decide to order, it should come in with no damage. Oh my God, I can already smell these. Oh, haven't you opened the box yet? So they are on the smaller side and these regular price are like $36. It's not a cheap candle. So this was a very good price, 36 times six. You guys can do the math. So this is it right here. This is Oktoberfest. How cute is this packaging? I absolutely love this. You have the beer bottles, you have the pretzels, the beer glasses, super duper cute. Um, natural soy wax blend and it's hand poured in the USA. And it says, a hoppy delight fragrant of pumpkin, fall spices and a hint of cedar. Nonstop laughter fills the air with gathering friends around the picnic table. Hence, you know, part of the design. We create an authentic hand poured product that celebrates the people, places and moments that matter most. And this is it, right? How beautiful is these to give as gifts, seriously? So they are very, very neutral. Um, what's so beautiful about them, honestly, is the box. I mean, this is beautiful too, but what I meant is, you know, where you see the color, where you see the theme is on the box, but these are super neutral to decorate your home with. And these can literally be a drinking glass, like once you're done. I'm sure this label come off if I try. We shall see later on. If you guys wanna see me using this as cups afterwards, let me know. Yeah, that smells so good. Oh my God, you definitely pick up that pumpkin. I almost smell the pretzel. Like it smells like salty. I really like that. So I am super excited to receive this. So if you know someone who really likes Oktoberfest, this is like a candle you can get them, a really cute. And then this one from the top, I'm gonna guess it's Love Letters. What would you guys guess? Comment down below. And these are really nice. You can see that it's holding the candle in there. You know, I have to physically take each little part out to get the candle out. It says where the heart is. So it probably is lovely. And wow, you guys, I am not lying. You can literally smell this out of the box. So how beautiful, again, is this packaging? So cute. And this one says, sweet mementos tucked away in a shoebox, piled up with Polaroids, notes of lemon, sandalwood, softened by rose petals and peonies. I absolutely love um, floral smells. I know it's not for everybody. Some people hate rose. Love lemon. I was, ooh, notes of lemon. So here it even says the top notes are the rose petals and the jasmine. The mid notes are the sandalwood and the peony. And the base notes are the lemon and the red plum. So I wanted to try this one out so now let's and the candles i believe all look the same i believe it is that ex same exact design yeah so it's really just another cup and it just says love letters homesick natural soy wax blend hand poured in the usa oh yeah i definitely pick up all that floral the rose the jasmine i'm not gonna lie i really don't pick up lemon but i do smell a lot of good florals in this so Really excited to try that out. The next one is definitely from the fall collection, I would guess. Where the heart is, but from the design, I would guess. Ooh, another cardboard to hold it in. Because I see, ooh, ooh. Oh my God, this is so full. Oh my God, I can already smell it. Autumn Hayride. And you can see again, 
such a cute package. This would make a beautiful gift. Uh, top notes are fresh hay, warm amber, and clove. Mid notes are nutmeg, birch, and maple bark. Base notes are tonka, I don't even know what that is, patchouli, and oak, oak moss. Crisp full air and bumpy rides with smiles from ear to ear. Gusts of fresh hay and birch wood mixed with sweet maple and warm amber. I already smelled good out of the box. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I literally, how do they do that? I literally feel like I'm outside on a hayride. Like, you can literally smell the hay. Oh, my God. Literally, I cannot believe that. And you definitely smell the nutmeg. I absolutely love this. This, if you like fall scents, you really want to go with the theme of fall, this is definitely one. I almost feel bad getting rid of these boxes. The boxes are so cute. All right. So that was one box. So let's open up the next box. I kind of want to save Massachusetts for the last. Builds up that suspense. I'm just really curious what the Massachusetts scent is. I don't even think I looked at it on the website, to be honest with you guys. So again, it opens up the same way. It says for the moments that matter most. So let's pull this out. This is so beautiful to give as a gift. You can give it either like these single boxes like this, or literally you can wrap up the homesick box. Like so, so cute. Um, that girl ordered one candle and it was just like a smaller box, but it literally, they did not disappoint. It was the same thing. It literally said for the moments that matter most, just like this. Like I remember that specifically. I mean, I don't remember what it said, but I remember it had like orange, like wrap around. All right. So let's save Massachusetts for last. How am I going to, I'm going to guess this is Massachusetts. Okay. So let's open these up and see what we got i already did two of the fall collection so yeah so there's two more fall and massachusetts so i can't even tell they all say where the heart is oh they all do say where the heart is i thought it was like just the love letters but no they all say that the love letters just look very obvious because like the pink and the red Ooh, apple orchard if you i don't know how i couldn't tell that with all those apples. So this one says the top, top notes are red apple, mandarin leaf. The mid notes are clove, cinnamon, six, and pear. And the base notes are pomegranate and sugar cane. A juicy bite of a freshly picked apple means fall is here. Pie, cobbler, or cider. Your basket is full of possibilities. Oh, yeah. I literally smell apple. Oh, my God. It smells like a fresh, juicy apple. Literally, like, at first I want to say apple juice, but no, it literally tastes like when you bite into an apple. That is so good. I don't know how strong these are when I burn them. Like, I'm not going to be, like, dishonest with you guys. Uh, maybe I will post, like, a little review of them on my Instagram. So definitely um, check me out there. I always link it down below. But I can tell you the smell right out of the box is so good. So this is the last fall one. Must be something pumpkin, I would guess. I remember it was Autumn Hayride, Oktoberfest, the Juicy Apple. I see leaves on the deck decorating the box. It's definitely the fall. I just don't remember 100% what the scents were. I was just like, give me the fall collect. Oh, yeah, pumping, picking, which is what I figured. I love, love, love this. I love that it's not just orange pumpkins. Because you guys know, like, the jewel tone pumpkins are in you get like some lighter orange. Oh my God, so cute. And it says right here, the top notes are pumpkin and nutmeg. The mid notes are ginger, cinnamon, clove. The base notes are vanilla, tonka, bean, and sugar. And it says vibrant leaves, welcoming hay rides, and the search for the perfect pumpkin. A cool fall day with hot apple cider and pumpkin spice. So, yeah. And it literally just smells like pumpkin. I mean, it smells like any other pumpkin candle I've bought before. I want to say there's anything like extra special about this one i feel like that's probably what all pumpkin candles do you know it's always like pumpkin and nutmeg cinnamon clove ginger which is all everything here and then it says vanilla and sugar but definitely smell some pumpkin all right you're ready suspense is over we are on the last one let's see what they think massachusetts smells like this is super nice too if you like you know someone who's moved or is going to move, you know, you can buy like their state candle. 
I figured it was the Massachusetts one just because it's like plain black. I don't know if the packaging is plain black, but the cover is plain black versus the other ones that had like apples and leaves and love letters and hay rides. Oh yeah. So it literally just has the state outline, Massachusetts, and it's literally just black. I actually really like this. Very nice packaging. And ooh, okay. So the top notes are coffee apple cider the mid notes are cinnamon clove and donut and the base notes are vanilla and tonka bean so this is going to be kind of like a fall candle so i don't know if it's going to be overkill but there's definitely some differences here because you get donut which is really cool you get coffee i do like like coffee and fall scents together i can definitely see why this is massachusetts because obviously i wasn't expecting a seafood scented candle trust me guys but um, Dunkin' Donuts is huge here. There is literally one on every single corner. Starbucks is pretty big here too. But I feel like that's even more like, we, we're East Coast. Yeah, more West Coast. There is just literally a coffee shop everywhere. There's the small business coffee shops. Like, they, we love our coffees. Uh, American runs on Dunkin'. I say all the time, no, Massachusetts runs on Dunkin'. And, you know, so you get the coffee, you get the donut. So let's see what this smells like. Let's take it out of the box. Out of the box. You guys ever watch that? <laughs> Showing my age. All right. And here it is, just like all the other ones. Hmm. I don't know if because this is my sixth candle. I don't know. I'm really not smelling anything, to be honest with you guys. Those full ones hit me. The second I open the boxes, even Love Letter, I smell a lot of floral. This one, I really don't smell anything. I have a friend who used to sell Scentsy and he always said after a while sniffing candles, you have a hard time. So they used to pass around coffee beans, something about smelling coffee beans that like clears the, the palate of your nose. That may sound crazy if you guys never heard of that. I don't know. Maybe I will do a follow up on my Instagram. Guys, comment down below. I can always let you guys know, but right now, I really don't smell anything, especially compared to those fall candles because I don't know. Because I should be smelling like, you know, at least the cinnamon, the clove, and because those are pretty strong scents. And I don't smell it. But anyway, so that was the six candles I bought. I also, so that was part of the jewelry giveaway. And then I also want to give away um, a second giveaway. I love to read i am very plus size you guys know that i absolutely love julie murphy she's a plus size author and she writes about plus size characters she wrote dumpling which is the netflix movie it was based on her novel she wrote a book recently the month of august uh if the shoe fits it's a twist on the plus size cinderella it came out literally like two weeks from my birthday i asked everybody for it for my birthday and no one gave it to me but it's because the universe knew I was getting it for free some other way. So I never received that. I got a bunch of other gifts for my birthday. And I said, eh, no big deal when I get my first check in September. Because I, I, I work at a school, so I'm off in August. Um, I said, maybe I'll buy it for myself. I actually want it in a giveaway. I gave them my address. I'm just waiting it to be shipped to me. And with that, I want a $50 credit to Dia, which is a plus size online store. And... It's a little on the pricier side. So I only grabbed one dress. It was $49, but it's absolutely beautiful. So maybe that'll be like my first try on haul. Um, I don't think I'm going to really, unless I try it on for you guys, I don't think I'm going to do a video for it because it's only one product. I mean, I, I'm going to show you the book and show you the dress. That's literally it. It'll be like a two second video. But I just want to show you like giveaways are legit. I tell my coworkers all the time. They're like, oh, I always thought they were fake. I always just scrolled right past them. I mean, I'm sure there are some fake ones. Be careful. I block a lot of pages because I can tell, you can tell like if they're a private page, if they don't, if you can't see their posts, if they don't have a lot of followers you know a lot of times instagram will verify them they will have the check mark there's a lot of ways to tell if the company is legit or not um but i have been super duper blessed especially recently i've been falling on some hard times so i've been saying you know I, you, i'm sure you guys can tell in some videos so i was like you know right now these giveaways is all i got going for me <laughs> and i am super duper happy super duper blessed super duper happy to receive them that is it for these videos. I gotta find spots for these candles. I don't know. <laughs> uh, definitely keep the fall ones out. Probably burn those in the next two and a half months. I wonder how much burn time these actually have. I wonder if it says it on the candle. 
and then I'll save like Massachusetts and love letters for last. But I am really curious about the Massachusetts one. No, we're not. It just says like to trim the rick and to burn on a suitable surface and all that stuff. But anyway, like I said, if you guys want updates, definitely comment down below. Let me know. I can either I'll just comment back or I'll do it on my Instagram. I always link that down below. If you guys like hauls, uh, I show you guys. Anytime I get something in the mail, anytime I order something, I go out shopping. I just did like a TJ Maxx haul. Uh, definitely consider subscribing. I do mystery boxes. I get Fab Fit Fun. I get Goldie Box. I get Walmart Beauty. I am decorating for the holidays. I want to show you guys this apartment. I just moved. So I am super excited about that. Uh, I do want to start branching out. I think I'm going to do some cook with me's in my kitchen. I, like I said, I want to start doing try on hauls. I also bought some fall clothes from small businesses, from Target. So I want to do that in my beauty room. And I also want to start doing like some crafts in my craft room slash office that I'm really excited about. It's funny if that sounds interesting to you. Definitely consider sub sub <laughs> Definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. If you like me, you liked the video, you like candles, you like giveaways, you like getting free stuff, you like influencer, like the video helps the YouTube algorithm. You guys definitely comment down below. Have you ever tried homesick candles? Do you guys do influencer? Um, what candles would you have picked? What state are you from? Things like that. I always like conversing with you guys down below. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.